Culture Action Europe to engage in a campaign. And we thank all of you who contributed ideas and thoughts to shaping it. We initiated the process with the firm and honest conviction that now is the right time for action. The result of this collective endeavor is the We Are More campaign. This is a once in a decade opportunity calling for a strong and united grassroots mobilization of the European cultural sector at a moment in which the European Union and its member states are entering in the negotiation phase for the next round of programs. Culture Action Europe, rich in expertise and brave in its advocacy actions, is the right place to start. With this in mind, the campaign is understood as an open source for the general involvement of the sector both at individual and collective levels. Indeed, We Are More is intentionally an open-ended slogan for an inclusive, open-source campaign. There is a place and a space for anyone wishing to contribute to its objectives. We live, to put it mildly, in troubled times, in a continuously changing landscape. It is our duty as human beings, citizens, professionals, and parents to find ways to make a constructive contribution to providing the answers to the challenges that constantly arise. There is an individual responsibility as individual citizens, and there is a collective responsibility as professionals engaged in the cultural sector to strive to reposition arts and culture politically. At Culture Action Europe, we believe that unless the arts and culture in general find a new place at the heart of political debate, the answers and solutions that we will provide to society will not adequately address the problems we face. It is necessary to give culture a stronger political dimension if by politics we understand the affairs of state and therefore of government. From Culture Action Europe, we have decided that now is the time to act. It is the time for the We Are More campaign. Why? Because, first, we need to work towards new types of public recognition for the arts and culture in a context where there are new challenges and changes in the sector. Secondly, because we want to champion stronger advocacy for the arts and culture in order to stimulate a new debate on public policy. Thirdly, because we need to stimulate the cultural sector to open up to new political things. And finally, because we want to reach out to all those who partake in and make use of culture, because only with the contribution of arts and culture, we will be able to structure a fully committed and active citizenship. This campaign has a strong value basis, but also focus, focuses on concrete and tangible goals. Therefore, we will strive to actively contribute to the shaping of the future EU 2014-2020 culture program because we think that there is space for new and innovative models of cooperation, but also because we are convinced that there is a strong case for an increased budget. And we will also advocate for further inclusion of the arts and culture in the EU structural fund as a transversal element necessary for an equitable and sustainable territorial development. We cannot underestimate the importance of strong local and national involvement. Therefore, we are conscious that we will have to act in a campaign onto concrete activities at local and national levels. We are also conscious that to make a contribution in repositioning the arts and culture politically, we have to engage in long-term processes both at the political level and within the sector. And lastly, we have to inspire thinking and reflection on what kind of Europe do we want for the future. Because indeed the campaign is also about imagining a better, more democratic and fairer Europe strongly defined by its intercultural riches, the variety of its arts, and of its cultural practices. On behalf of the Executive Committee, we are extremely grateful to the European Commission, both President Barroso and Commissioner Basilio, for their support in the campaign launch. We very much value their presence here today as a sign of their engagement in the campaign, and we hope to develop new ways of cooperation throughout its duration. We are also very grateful to the European Cultural Foundation for their unconditional support throughout the first steps of the campaign. We are sure that the long-standing partnership with this truly European Foundation will continue to bear its fruits as we go along in the process. Our thanks go also to Bozar for having so very generously led this wonderful venue for today's launch. We also wish to thank you all for your presence here today.
we take the opportunity to publicly call upon you to actively support and engage in the campaign in all those creative and diverse ways that we are sure you're all capable of. The success of our campaign will stem from your capacity to imagine, create, and produce. It is not a time for shying away. It is a time for individual and collective political engagement to help shape a better and more fulfilling Europe, not only for today's, but also for tomorrow's citizens. In the opening paragraph of his essay, Ill Fares the Land, published in the April 2010 issue of the New York Review of Books, the late author and historian Tony Judd wrote, and I quote, Something is profoundly wrong with the way we live today. For 30 years we have made a virtue of the pursuit of material self-interest. Indeed, this very pursuit now constitutes whatever remains of our sense of collective purpose. We know what things cost, but have no idea what they are worth. We no longer ask of a judicial ruling or a legislative act. Is it good? Is it fair? Is it just? Is it right? Will it help bring about a better society or a better world? Those used to be the political questions, even if they invited no easy answers. We must learn once again to pose them. I have quote. At Culture Action Europe, we say that it is necessary to ask the right questions, to provide brave answers, and also to act within a given time frame. We are indeed more, and we are more today, and we can do more for tomorrow. And let us not forget. Thank you very much.